Look at that sunrise. My view first thing this morning. All right, good morning. Day seven, just leaving the Blue Mountain Shelter. Just a couple minutes after six this morning. I got up, wanted to get going, feeling good. And a uh, beautiful day, as you've already seen. So let's hit the trail. All right, <clears throat> here's the trail this morning. Uh, yeah, it's not been too bad. The first like mile and a half, quite a few blowdowns, but they're spread out, so it wasn't too bad. And most of them were down enough where you could just step over them or climb over them. And this is about the widest this trail's been today. There was parts of it walking like on the edge, uh, maybe only a foot wide. And so, I'm trying to make sure I keep my footing with all the leaves. A little slick, but beautiful day. It's just a ravine down there. So I've been walking along the creek for, I don't know, a mile maybe. Down the valley, up and down like the sides. And it is chilly down here because of the moisture. But it's all green. It's so pretty. Okay, this is a Hillbilly Creek. I just had to ford. So I threw my Crocs on because there's no way to get, uh, not get wet. And since it was about uh, knee deep here, I just soaked for a minute. And got some water because it's just cold as can be. Beautiful creek. All right, came across another beautiful creek. So I'm gonna cross. Okay, just hiking along and got to a young growth pine forest, so which is nice. And you can see all the pine, it's so soft to walk on. Just cruising. Okay, about uh, halfway in for the day because um, it's gonna be 24 to get to Heflin and uh. So I just wanted to show you one of the spots that I was really looking forward to uh, on the trail here. So let me turn the camera around. So this is one of the spots. Unfortunately, it's not flowing near as good as it normally is, they said. Actually, there's some cutters here working around here, but see the waterfall. Let's see if we can keep getting up here and closer. All right, my first real bridge on the whole trail, and I'm almost 100 miles in, just over a little creek. Awesome. Okay, just after that bridge, and I officially passed my first 100 mile spot. So one third, almost one third of the way done. By the time I get to town today, I'll be exactly one third of the way done. So it's not bad for seven days. Um, so that was uh, the road walks. I'll pick up some time. So as long as the weather holds out um, and my bite holds out, I should be on schedule. Okay, I'm at the campsite that I was originally going to go to. It's, so I've done 17.6 miles already. 2 30 in the afternoon uh, i've got six miles left to go um to make it into heflin so i'm gonna do that but give you the quick tour it's got some, some nice actually log benches uh right next to the creek so it would have been a really pretty spot but um 
yeah, I'm ready for a shower, some food, and a bed tonight. Okay. Coming up on it. I-20. And that's construction. Well, that sucks. Just crossing over. Let's check this little part of the trail out. Just cut right through a, a young timber uh, pine forest. It's pretty cool. Just cruising through the pine forest. A little under three miles to go for the day and I'll be done at half. So coming down the trail and I just found this cave as we turn. Because you turn right at this cave. How cool is that? And we continue on. So this is a clearing I come to in the trail. Oh, it's beautiful. And here's a little grass part of the trail. Between woods, probably a gas line or, yeah, probably under, underground gas line, I imagine. Okay, let's do end of day wrap up on day seven. Uh, as you can see, I am not outside. I am <clears throat> in Heflin uh, for a 24.5 mile day. Got in here to the hotel and got some food, shower, laundry. And then tomorrow morning at 11.30, the, um, the gentleman that came and picked me up from the city hall is gonna take me to meet the town mayor to get my picture. So that's pretty awesome. And, uh, and then he'll take me back to the trail. And then tomorrow, I think it's only like eight or nine miles. It's a quick day, so um, actually not even leaving until 11.30 in the morning, so. So from Heflin, Alabama on day seven, have a good night.